I was recently looking back at your excellent book, uh, Harvest of Empire, that also has been revised. And it made me start to think how so many people in this country, when they talk about immigrants or when they talk about undocumented immigrants or people who are here with protective status or people who were brought here uh, by their parents and they didn't have documentation, we never talk about why people have come here from uh, any number of these countries. Give an overview of the harvest of empire and why people started migrating from south to north at different points in history. Well, I think the basic thesis of, of my book, Harvest of Empires, you really cannot understand the massive growth of the Latino population in the United States uh, in the second half of the 20th century and the early 21st century, unless you understand the role of the United States in Latin America in the late 19th and early 20th century. That, in fact, the 50-some million Latinos now living in the United States are a direct result of the United States' creation of an imperial empire in Latin America. And in fact, the United States is not alone. The reason there are so many Algerians, Tunisians, and Moroccans in France is because those were the colonies of the French Empire. The reason there are so many Indians, Pakistanis, and Jamaicans in England is because those were the colonies of the British Empire. Uh, the reason there are so many Turks in Germany it's because Germany got laid into the imperial power game and after World War I basically absorbed the Ottoman Empire and began going into Turkey and other places in the Middle East. But what basically what happens is that World War II was a seminal moment in the colonial world because all of the powers in World War II all impressed their colonial s soldiers into the war. The French drafted the Algerians and the Tunisians into the French army. Uh, the Americans drafted Puerto Ricans and Mexicans. My father and his two brothers all served in a Puerto Rican regiment uh, in World War II that was attached to Patton's 7th Army. They were all recruited right out of Puerto Rico, not even speaking a word of English, to fight in World War II. Even African Americans who came up from the South, a lot of them were impressed into World War II. So the result was... After the war was over, the soldiers who returned all became the leaders of their independence movements, of their civil rights movements. If you look at all of the people in the civil rights movement in the United States, many of them were World War II veterans. Uh, in the same thing in the Mexican-American community, in the Puerto Rican community. They came back having been trained and fought in World War II and said, hey, we just defeated fascism, but we don't have rights in our own country. After World War II, you get the huge surge of African independence and Pakistan and India. They're all, all the colonial powers are forced to give up their colonies. But then, because these countries had already established roots of trade and commerce and information with the metropolis, the, suddenly people started leaving their countries and going to the metropolis. Algerians started going to France and Tunisians and Indians and Pakistanis started going to England. And people who came to the United States were largely from countries that were already directly intervened, like Puerto Rico or Cuba, Dominican Republic and Mexico. And then, of course, Nicaragua, Salvador and Honduras. So basically, you can directly trace the mass migrations of every imperial power in the world to their former colonies. So that's why I say that the Latino presence in the United States is the harvest of the American empire. For the first 150 years, the colonial powers tried to get the resources, the gold or the, or the copper or whatever resource they could get out of the colonies. But then what they never expected was that the people themselves would come, that the workers would start using those same routes of trade to migrate to the metropolis. Had the West not try to dominate the entire world <laughs> and colonize the entire world, it would not be facing the kinds of migration situations that they're facing now.